ለመማር ወደ ትምህርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምህርታችሁ መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲዩት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምህርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በ6 ስቶር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ that today's session i hope we have been discussed different marketing information system techniques we have been discussed internal records of the organization we have been discussed the marketing research marketing intelligence and competitive analysis to make reasonable marketing decision now let's begin with the marketing strategies so this marketing strategy is important to address the customer's need so this marketing strategy is known as marketing mixes or sometimes they are known as marketing 4p so the first p stands for product second p could be price third p place or sometimes this is known as distribution or distribution channel and the last p is promotion now promotion is important to communicate with the customer through different mix of promotional techniques like advertisement publicity personal selling and so on so uh marketing mix or marketing strategy is important to address the company's product to the customer through different you know strategy strategy is the means the means on which the company's product addressed to the the customer so this marketing mix uh will be discussed in detail in this chapter so uh the first p or the marketing strategy is important to deliver the customers with the appropriate feature the appropriate value or the appropriate uh service so in this case the first marketing promotion or marketing mix or strategy could be product product as we have seen in the earlier chapter product is anything anything that can be offered for sale or for customers to satisfy their need and want at you know uh, a reasonable price so in this case product could be goods or it could be service the tangible part of the product a goods and the intangible part of the product is a service this product or i mean this goods or service is produced for sales so this product and service should be or should satisfy the customer's need and want so uh we have to raise some important question when we you know using this product strategy or this is one of the marketing strategy so uh, what product or service do i say so this you know describes what type of product or this will describe the nature of the product so for what purpose this product you know could be sold for the customer so why did i decide to sell this product so this indicates uh the customers or sometimes this indicates 
you know, the purpose of or the missions of, you know, selling these products. So this product, so we can also ask as a marketer, so do I have the product's customer or do I have the product or the customers want or do I serve the customer in terms of their need? So in this case, if the product answer all these questions, so we can a little bit serve our customers in terms of their need and want, or our product uh, will satisfy the customer's need. So in this case, uh, one of the strategies that a company uh, address their customer is using products. So product is anything, anything. It could be tangible or it could be intangible. So this tangible or intangible product uh, could be you know, one of these strategy. So in this case, there are different uh, questions, you know, with regard to products. So in this case, when we produce and deliver a product to the customer, so we have to always listen what customers are asking for. So in this case, you know, if you listen to the customer, so you can develop what customers, you know, want. Or so you can minimize the complaints of the customer. So once you minimize the complaint of the customer, so uh, we can handle or we can develop a good customer or handling mechanism. So in this case, we have to conduct more marketing research to identify the customer's needs and to identify what you know, customers you know, require or need from our organization in terms of value or in terms of um, uh, products cost or in terms of product sales. If your product is not selling well, so think of new idea like finding new customers. So in this case, if your product not selling as much as much as much as you want, so you have to think of why my product is not attractive in the market. So in this case, at least you have to search for a new customer and develop that product for a new market. So new market or searching for a new market is you know, another marketing strategy using a new or existing product. So in this case, using the product, you can access what customers want and develop a new product that satisfies the customer. And the other strategy. So generally using products as much as possible as a marketer, you have to develop a product with superior quality, with superior quality than competitors. But if your marketing strategy is pricing, as much as, as possible within the market, you have to set a price which is you know, competitive in the market. Or if it is possible, you have to set a price which is you know, less than the competitor's price. So using the price, so you can uh, compete with a lower price, not a higher price. So in this case, to set a lower price than the competitor, you have to think of two things. One, the profitability of the organization, and the other could be the affordability of the customers. So in this case, first you have to know the cost of your product. Before we set the price, so how much we have to incur, or you have to analyze, or you have to know how much you incur for that product. You have to know the cost since the cost is the basis for setting a price. There are different pricing strategy 
like cost plus strategy. So in this case, you have to know first the cost. Once you understood the cost, know how much customers are willing to pay. So in this case, you have to know how much customers are you know, willing or you have to know the capability of the customer for that product, you have to know. So in this case, if you understood how much your customer is capable of paying for that product, so you can set you know, a comparative uh, price. Or uh, sometimes it is not you know, enough you know, understanding the customer's paying ability and the cost of your product. So instead, you have to know the competitor's price. Who are your competitors? How much they are you know, setting for that product? How much? So in this case, you have to know your competitor's price and how much to make your price more attractive. So take into these three uh, factors and you can set your own price and how much this price is attractive than your competitors. So using the pricing strategy, customers or manufacturing companies or service company could set their own price based on these three things. One, they have to know the cost of their product and the, cap the capability of you know, their customers you know, paying for that product and you know, take into consideration the market price or the computer's price. So based on these three things, so you can set your own price, you can set. So the other marketing strategy, you know, marketing strategy is simply delivering your product to customer to satisfy their needs while, you know, achieving organizational objectives. So one of the organizational objective for business organization is profit. So while satisfying the customer's need, so the company should earn a profit. So this profit is achieved either providing superior quality product or setting a lower price than the computers or the other Means or strategy could be a place. So this uh, you can use interchangeable distribution channel. Place means simply distribution channel. So this distribution channel uh, is important to deliver your product to the customer. So obviously in distribution channel there are two types of channels. One direct distribution from producer to consumer by the producer themselves. If the nature of the product is kind of large or bulky, they need you know, indirect distribution. They need marketing intermediary. Intermediary means simply a uh, third party that you know, take a product or a service from producer to consumer. It could be wholesaler, or it could be retailer, or it could be agent. So in this case, as a strategy, which distribution channel is appropriate? Directly selling to the consumer, or you know, distributing the product through some parties like retailer distribution or wholesaler distribution. So in this case, as a strategy, you have to send it uh, a distribution channel or a place that minimize the cost. So the third P or marketing strategy is a place or distribution. It could be either direct or indirect. Indirect we mean simply through retailer distribution or wholesaler distribution. Depending on the nature of the product, it could be agent. Okay. So the last P or the last marketing strategy is you know, promotion. 
So this promotion is informing your customer about your products. So this is a channel or a communication channel between the organization and the consumers. So in this case, you have to set different techniques to promote your product. There are different means of promotion or uh, there are different mixes of promotion. So you can communicate to your customer about your product in terms of advertisement or sales promotion. Sales promotion is providing some amount of product to customers with free, free of cost. And the other is publicity. Sponsoring some events. This is publicity. Then paid promotion. Sometimes a business organization sponsors some uh, events like uh, athletics, or football, there are a number of events that an organization you know, uh, promotes. So this is to communicate with their customers about their products. And the final promotional mix is uh, using personal saving. This personal saving kind of communication with customer requires, uh, you know, a person which is a salesperson. So depending on the nature of the product, so we can use either advertisement, sales promotion, publicity, or personal selling to promote our products. So as a strategy, so we have to select the appropriate means of promotion, the appropriate. For example, for real estate companies, you know, the advertisement could be, or the promotional technique could be personal saving. For lower cost uh, products, a product with uh, low unit cost, it could be promotion, like uh, sales promotion, or it could be an advertisement. So this uh, mix of promotion has their own advantage and disadvantage. Advertisement has its own advantage over sales promotion or on personal selling. Advertisement is widely you know, distributed in terms of uh, access as accessible. In terms of uh, persuasion, advertisement is a little bit less persuasive than personal selling. So in this case, depending on the advantage, depending on the nature of the company's product, we can use either advertisement, sales promotion, publicity, or personal selling. So in this case, you know, uh, advertisement could be through uh, flyers, or it could be uh, national uh, magazine or it could be national TV advertisement. There are a number of uh, means for advertisement. So there are uh, some useful ways of advertisement, including sign, board, poster, handout, business card, price list, photos, newspaper. There are different advertisement means. So you can use you know, the appropriate advertisement mix depending on your product. So you can also use sales promotion, short-term incentive. Sometimes uh, different organizations use sales promotion nowadays. If you use one product, there will be another product, additional products. But sales promotion is important only for short term, short term incentives. You may remember different short term incentives for using certain products. Let me say, Kazibafit, Coca Cola, and Moha company. 
ኮካ ኮላ ላይ ተጣሰው ሽልማት ነበረው ልክ በሽልማት አይነት የሚሰሩ ፕሮሞሽኖች ሴልስ ፕሮሞሽን ይባላሉ። ለምሳሌ ጋርመንቶችን ብቻው ኮት ብትገዙ ለምሳሌ ካራባት ሊመረቅላችሁ ይችላል ሸሚዝ ሊሰጣችሁ ይችላል there are a number of uh, incentives for using a particular product እስኪ ለምሳሌ ሴልስ ፕሮሞሽን ከዚህ በፊት የተጠቀመ ሰው ካለ ፕራክቲካል ዲዮን ማለት ነው ሴልስ ፕሮሞሽን የሆነ ቃስ ብገዙ በነጻ ሌላ ቃል የሚሰጣቸው አይነት ፕሮሞሽን ማለት ነው so you are expecting some incentives so you are using a particular product anyone who are using sales promotion or the users of sales promotion so whenever you use sales promotion so you have to make sure that customers will buy buy more products so in this case when they came to your business you you should also do the following things or you have to ensure maintain attractive display so the setup of the display of your business should be attractive to use more products and let customers try new products so we have, we have to encourage customers to use new products or try new products have a competition so whenever there is you know uh, competition so this competition encourage you know, customers you know, uh, to acquire the appropriate product or to buy uh, appropriate product give demonstration so you have to show some demonstration about the product so this will attract customers more so this is a kind of promotional or sales promotion activity so for the sake of increasing the demand of the customer so you have to sell complementary products products that uh use you know, you know side to side or products that goes to together so this is complementary products so this kind of promotion is sales promotion so the marketing strategy it could be either place distribution promotion price or it could be products it may be familiar ways no was strategy strategy simply marketing strategy is the process that can allow an organization to concentrate its limited resources on the greatest possibilities or opportunity to increase the sales the ultimate the ultimate objectives of any organization which is a business organization is you no know, profit so profit is achieved by increasing the sales of the organization so this increasing the sales and achieving the competitiveness or you can uh sustain or achieve a sustainable competitive advantage competitive advantage means an advantage get over the competitors so marketing strategy is important to increase the sales of the organization as well as take over an advantage over the competitors this is the marketing strategy objective using either product price 
distribution channel or place or promotion so you can increase the sales of the organization or you can take over advantage of the competitors take over the advantage of you know, the competitor means a you know, competitive advantage so marketing strategy is a method of focusing an organization's synergy and resource on the course of action simply strategy means course of action so that can lead to increase the sales and the dominance of the market share or target market so in this case there are different uh, strategies so as we have seen earlier you know, marketing strategies combined combine product development promotion uh, distribution price and relationship marketing nowadays in 21st century one of the strategy in addition to the four p's relationship marketing relationship marketing is another kind of uh, strategy develop a network develop a strategy for your business so this is important to increase the marketing goal so the marketing goal is ultimately increasing the company's profits increasing the sales of the company and you know ensure the dominance of the target market using whatever strategy so that organization need dominance over the target market so in this case using the previous 4p in addition to relationship marketing so they can develop or increase market dominance and increase their sales you know sales as sales increase obviously the profit of the organization will increase So the marketing strategy will determine the choice of the target market segment. So in marketing strategy, the first strategy is you know, identify the target market. So before we identify the target market, we have to you know, uh, choose the appropriate market segment. You know, market segmentation is the process of dividing the market into smaller groups. Once they divide the market into smaller groups, so they have to select the best or the appropriate target market. Once they select the appropriate target market, so they have to put the, their product brand in the minds of their customer. So the process of putting the brands of the product in the minds of the customer is known as market positioning or simply this is known as positioning. So the overall marketing strategy will determine the type of market you are going to select or simply target market segmentation the positioning strategy the marketing mix which is the previous marketing mix like 4p and the allocation of resources there are different resources so the allocation of this resource requires you know the marketing strategy so marketing strategy is effective when it is integral component of the overall firm's strategy or organizational strategy so marketing strategy is a little bit narrow strategy as compared with organizational strategy so this firm or organizational strategy the basis for marketing strategy or marketing strategy should you know cascaded from the uh, firm strategy or organizational strategy 
you know, there are uh, the fairness strategy is you know, developed from the mission and objectives of the organization. So in this case, marketing strategy defining how the organization will successfully engage customers, prospects, competitors, and in the market arena, in the market area, which means marketing strategy is a weapon of the firm. That is how to engage with customer, how to engage with prospectus. Prospectus means the future customer. And you know, marketing strategy is you know, important to develop you know, uh, a fighting strategy with competitors. So in this case, marketing strategy is important and it will show the guidance or the direction of the organization in terms of customer handling, customer treatment, prospect treatment, or competitor strategy. So this marketing strategy is important to set the price of the organization or simply pricing strategy. How? So generally in pricing strategy, you can compete with the competitors by setting a lower price as compared with the uh, competitor's price by observing the customer's paying ability and the cost of the product. And you have to also look into the competitor's price. So price strategy is the only P that provides and you know, other than other than means simply the selling price of the product multiplied with the number of uh, products sold or the quantity to be sold. So in this case, price will generate other than. So that's the only P that generates other than. The other P uh, provides cost product incur a cost, promotion will incur a cost, or the other distribution channel will incur a cost. But price generate only revenue. This is the only P that generates revenue, or involves in competition of revenue. So in this case, total revenue is equal to selling price multiplied by quantity. If the selling price of a particular product is timber, and if you sell 10 products, so the total revenue could be 100. Simple. Which means selling price multiplied by quantity could be total revenue. So the profit of the organization is the difference between the total cost incurred to produce the product and the total revenue. So in this case, total cost indicates the production cost as well as the fixed cost. Fixed cost means the cost incurred with, uh, before you know, producing the products, like building costs, machinery costs. This is total cost, I mean fixed cost. So in this case, profit is the function of total revenue and for, I mean total cost. So profit is equal to total revenue minus total cost. So this is how to calculate using uh, you know, total cost and total revenue. So pricing strategy are subjected to incredibly complex environmental and competitive forces since price depends on the environment, like the cost of raw material, you know, will influence the price of the product. And the other could be the demand of the product will determine the price. As for normal goods or product, as price increase, the demand will decrease. So in this case, 
pricing strategy is complex, complex, but uh, we can develop you know, some structure for you know, uh, pricing strategy. So in this case, you can set different pricing strategy. Not only setting the lowest price, So generally using pricing strategy, it's better to compete with the lowest price, but you will have different strategy. You will have pricing, price scheming. This uh, type of strategy, if the company is pioneer, pioneer means company come up with you know, a new product for the first time, so you can set higher price without considering the competitor's price. If you set a higher price than the, any other competitor and you know, uh, sell your product at highest possible price. So this kind of pricing strategy is known as price scheming. Scheming means simply set a higher price or charge the highest price for a short period of time. Scheming means you know, a short-term pricing strategy. So in this case, you can come up with high quality products, unique quality product. Since your product is unique, since your product is high quality, so you can set a higher price. Setting a higher price for a certain product is known as you know, price scheming. Penet penetration pricing strategies, you know, the opposite of price scheming strategy. In penetration strategy, so you can set the lowest price as compared with the competitors the lowest price or you have to reduce you know your price as compared with the competitors so in this case if your product is lower than the competitors product given that the product quality is you know normal or you know the same as with your competitor so in this case since your product is lower than the competitor so you will attract more customers so in this case, you are draining the market by setting a lower price. Sometimes you may set a lower price as compared with the cost because your strategy is you know, you know, draining or entering to the market. So to enter into the market, so you have to penetrate the market. So setting a lower price as compared with the competitor is price penetration strategy or penetration strategy. So this is the opposite of skimming strategy. Skimming is setting a higher price. Penetration is setting a lower price. So this is a different strategy in a different scenario or in different real world. Cost plus pricing strategy Sometimes you have to consider the unit cost of your product. Unit cost you know, includes the production cost, transportation cost, and so on. So given that the total cost of the product, and you have to add something, you know, profit, or sometimes this is known as marginal uh, or margin. So within uh, the cost, so you have to add some percentage. So you may add 10%, 5%, depending on the industry, you can add you know, uh, some amount of uh, incremental value on the cost of the product. So this strategy is a kind of cost plus pricing strategy. So this is most of the time you know, used by you know, existing companies existing company or you know companies compete with each other in competitive markets.
So in this game, there are the types of uh, markup price in the strategy. So since your, your firm or your organization is a business organization, you need some amount of uh, profit. So this profit is some percentage of you know, the production cost of your uh, product. So on this case, you have to add some percentage on the selling the price. So in this case, the selling the price could be the cost of the product plus the margin. The margin or the markup is the percentage of the cost, the percentage. So in this case, if you produce a certain product for temple, so when you sell that product, you have to at least add some amount of percent, 10 percent of the product. بتمرت كف بلو مبرر يتشالل ناشنال افيشن كوليج ي ناشنال ايرويز سهت كوبانيا ككفتنيا تمرت اغباب النت نا طرات ايجنسي ملوك انا نباغني نباچو بماسترز ديجري ام بي اي باستراتيجيك مانجمنت ام بي اي ببانكينغ انا فاينانس ام بي اي ببزنس ليدرشيب ام بي اي بريسك انا انشورانس ام اس سي بانترناشونال تريد انا ايكونوميكس زرفوچ بوقت لمقرص يبقو بروفيسوروچاچن ارنغوادي مبراتاچون ابرتوال በነገራችን ላይ በኬንያ ሀገር ከሚገኙ ስመጥር ዩኒቨርሲቲዎች በሚመጡ ፕሮፌሰሮች የትኩረት መስክ ትምርቶቹ መሰጣታቸው ልዩ ያደርገናል በመርጥ የትምርት ስርዓት የተገነባው ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ በመጀመሪያ ዲግሪ በአቪዬሽን ማኔጅመንት በሆቴል ማኔጅመንት በአካውንቲንግ እና ፋይናንስ በማርኬቲንግ ማኔጅመንት አስተማማኝ ትምርት ይገብዩና ራሱንና ሀገሩን ይለውጡ አድራሻ 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደ መንገድ ላይ ናሽናል አቪዬሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ ስህት ኩባንያ ህልሞን አሁን ያደርጋል The other pricing strategy is competition-oriented pricing strategy. So regardless of you know, the cost of the product, so you have to consider the competition. If your competitor sell a certain product for timber, so you have to at least sell for timber or less than timber. This is competition or ambition. Depending on the market, you have to you have to consider the competitor's price. Sometimes you may follow the competitor by setting the lower price, or you may follow the competitors by setting the same price. So in this case, competition or rented pricing strategy is one of the pricing strategy. Or sometimes you may follow or even pricing strategy, or this is a kind of psychological pricing strategy. Instead of setting 50 bar for a certain product, it's better to set even number, 49 bar, or it could be 49.95. But the actual price is the same. The actual price is the same. So it doesn't matter whether you get an exchange of 0.05 cents or not. It doesn't bring any change. But psychologically, you may be attracted toward this for those products tagged with, you know, uh, odd number. Instead of 50 bar, so you may prefer to purchase a product with 49.95. But the real price, the real value of the, the real cost of the product is the same. Whether you get an exchange or not, it doesn't matter, which is 0.05 cents. So in this case, this is a kind of odd even pricing strategy. This is strategy is known as psychological pricing strategy. So any question with regard to this? different pricing strategies, around six pricing strategies, starting from setting higher price up to setting even or odd price. This is a kind of pricing strategy. So you can play within these six strategies in setting your own price. But practically, you know, when you see the product, so can you tell me, 
uh, some practical issues in our surroundings. So what type of uh, pricing strategy they are following? Uh, I think most of the time competition orientation pricing name is like Magnetum, Andrik Abinai, Lam Salis Kaviton Benost, Bzusuk Otnai that Angber, Aserber, Sich Amram, the same Becca, especially Andrik Satarlais and Nai, Yandiber, the Unit, Menamin, you know, on Janak Bzu difference, I know. Okay, so that's the competition oriented pricing strategy. Mm. Okay. Uh, Leila Kams is in the cafe of the college place. Leila Chachu. Television. Yes, I'm going to have a strategy. I'm going to have a strategy. I'm going to have a strategy. Television is going to have a strategy. Either manufacturer or new channel. When merchandiser, when uh, trading in actual levels. Yeah, no, so yeah, waga wazi get at them na yau chibra uchita get at mumi matam. No, so le price affect sebla mare. Yeah, yau chibra ando che ziwed na ch. Ka zi kami get at them utman ano no. The price damo bet amli yun na talla ch. Yeah, same so product, or no? Same product. Then, uh, what right. product nature? When product quality will be there? Million. So let's imagine the yeah. strategy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Okay, so let's go. product. Okay. 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 Uh, cost, uh, you must say, cost plus. Cost plus price. Mm. Uh, okay. Let's uh, get natural. Then I get cost plus. Me take a month. Me see how good now. As me choose not to. Please, I'm not choose not to. Me do not get me. Then I'm not. Let's get Leila. Leila. I can't get to lay. Not take a month. Take a month. But your product is. So you have to compare the competitor's price and regardless of, you know, the cost of the, pro the product. If the competitors set a lower price than what your company produce, sometimes you set a lower price. But this phenomenon is for short term, for survival strategy. If you set a price less than the amount of cost you are incurred for that product. So generally, this five strategy is important to attract more customers and increase the company's profits. So the other uh, marketing strategy is promotional strategy. Promotional strategy is simply the communication of the company with their customers, the communication. This is you know, pro promotional 
uh, strategy. So how the company communicate with their customer? So in this case, you may be bombarded with a lot of advertisement every day, every day while you are watching the TV. So this TV advertisement is a kind of promotional strategy. So the advantage of using advertisement or advertising a national TV or other private TV could be, you know, uh, accessible for all those who has, you know, TV. Or it could be radio advertisement, magazine advertisement. There are a number of, you know, ways. So in this case, so we can promote our product through advertisements. So this advertisement it could be mass media, or it could be nowadays. You know, there are uh, boost marketing advertisement through internet, which is known as boost marketing. So in this case, uh, not only on TV radio or magazine you can advertise your product through internet so internet advertisement or uh, is known as boost marketing sometimes you can use also personal selling you may be uh, first different uh, salesperson that promotes a particular uh, pro, uh, company's products. So they try to pursue or they try to convince to purchase that product. So this personal selling is a little bit, you know, expensive, expensive forms of promotion. Advertisement is the cheapest forms of promotion, the cheapest, the expensive, Advertisement strategies are not selling. At least you have to hire you know, more you know, salesperson if your product is a kind of large product. But what type of strategy? The advantage of uh, this personal selling is it's a two-way communication. That's you know, two-way communication. There is a communication between the buyer and the seller. Buyer and seller through the salesperson. In advertisement, it's one way, one way. Non-personal. Non-personal means you may advertise, you know, uh, a particular product for non-users, for non-users. Non-users may watch the advertisement, but it is not their concern. So this gets non-personal. But in personal selling, this, the salesperson contact the individuals, those supposed to buy the product. And there is some communication between the buyers and the sellers. This is two-way communication. So you can receive feedback. Public correlation, simply you know, advert, uh, form of communication that seeks to change the perception of customers, shareholders, suppliers, buyers, and other public about the company and its product through, you know, sponsoring some event. You know, public relation, large organization has public relation department or PR department. So this uh, is important to communicate or to change the perception of the customer, to change the perception of stakeholders and so on. So we can promote our product by creating advertisement, personal selling, public relations department, or PR, or sometimes sales promotion. Give some incentives for the users, short-term incentives for using you know, a particular product. Sales promotion provide free sample, or sometimes it could be a prize, or it could be a reward, or sometimes there might be some discounts. 
sometimes tele, you can't take telecommunication. There is some discount on peak uh, service time or then peak service time. There is some discount. So this 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 discount, this discount is you know, an incentive to use more products so they can use this kind of strategies. So this is non-promotional or the second, this, the fourth P. Distribution strategy or this is place. As we have seen earlier, so there are two kinds of distribution. Direct distribution or indirect distribution. So in direct distribution, so companies focus on you know, the product major. If the product is short-lived product or you know, partial product, so they can use direct distribution channel, direct. So in this case, using either direct or indirect, so they can maximize the cost, I mean the sales, as well as the profit. So companies should focus on establishing the appropriate distribution channel to increase or to maximize the sales and the profit. So which distribution channel is cheap? So this is the distribution channel strategy. So the responsibility of this strategy is identifying the cheapest distribution channel. So as cost is decreased, you know, the sales will increase. Sales as sales increase, the profit will increase. So in this case, so uh, this distribution channel is responsible to identify the appropriate distribution channel. So many of these companies often fail to establish and maintain the most effective distribution channel. Large organization or most organizations fail to establish reliable distribution channel. This is, you know, uh, these problems are identified by research. Different researchers identify why companies fail to establish and maintain effective distribution channel. This is because of, you know, different reasons. Some organizations unable to distribute, I mean, uh, establish you know, a relationship with their distributors. Since distributors are you know, uh, responsible to distribute different products. So in this case, if the organization is very large, so they can identify exclusive distributor, exclusive. But uh, if the organization is small and medium, it's difficult to establish exclusive distributor. So in this case, there are a company goods and services, or there are a company of products you know, need to be you know, distributed using different or multi-channel. So in this case, uh, there will be some price increment increment by the distributors that ultimately increase the cost of the company. So this is some of the reasons why companies fail to establish a reliable distribution channel. So because of this different reason, companies fail to establish you know, more reliable distribution channel. So this uh, sometimes increase the cost of the organization. If the cost of the organization increase, so their profit is decreased. So this channel is could be either direct, simply direct channel means from producer to consumer. The producer themselves distribute to the end users. Directly. Indirect channel, so there is some intermediaries. This intermediary could be 
merchants, or it could be wholesalers, or it could be a retailer, or dealer, agent, broker. There are different intermediaries. Intermediary means um, uh, someone who involved in uh, distribution of the product between the producer and the uh, buyer or the seller and the buyer. So as a strategy, company should select either of the two, either direct or indirect, or in some cases, depending on the nature of the product, they can use you know, both at a time, direct or indirect. Direct channel limit direct channel. Like a close industry in Sunday, Cotex, Rasacho Amerto, Rasacho, Rasacho shopping center, shopping center, that contact me out Contact me at a good best directly as a church at Aluma. Let's know. Okay. Uh, indirect me the guns. Lam Sally. Indirect. Eh, Mallet. Amerto or as a church. I will be sure to. The Macalacho. Bolsail and Mosha. Trailer. Most of uh, grocery products like supermarket, okay. uh, soup lime and Naganyato product, which most of the time. Le... Bevzat lemme a kafa filisat alu ka company watto or ka production kaza ya bevzat tak ablo damo la sukot or la supermarket ushda mo distribute ya ragal ena za sukot or supermarket ushda mo la nga la users or damo la customers distribute ya ragal. Okay, lam salao cash you kamit tak kamu gatus esko brito amra chula at kazu malay nam gazu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Shoplay man. There are a number of products. Let me say, the little product which form, let me say, but I'm good product which form, and direct channel like, but I'm constantly on a cost way, mischief me for the bunch of product which form, direct channel, but I'm good doing product which form one. Producer, Rasu, and the time is a lot of them, Sally, and then the diamond. When I'm nine at the truth, I'm rather to the summer to the common shop to get me more. I'm a cat. Channel was a lot of things cost when valuable slow product to you. You may find many amount of mischief in the metal selling chamber. But I'm good your coach direct channel with the command. When the mobile is up, but I'm actually busy. When you actually see it, me and Nacho product, partially product is in the Nacho direct channel with the command. What is that? So in this case, when we select either direct or indirect channel, so we have to consider different conditions. We have to consider different conditions. So one of the conditions is the company's factor. So in terms of finance, in terms of human resource, in terms of technology, so if the business or the company is you know, capable, so they can distribute directly. So the company factor is one major factor to select direct or indirect channel or the corporate channel. And the other is marketing characteristics. If the market is geographically dispersed or scattered, it's difficult to distribute by themselves. So in this case, they need agent, they need wholesaler, they need retailer. So in this case, the market characteristic will determine the appropriate channel. The other is product attributes or the characteristics of the product or product character. If the product is partial, it's difficult to you know, distribute using intermediates because of you know, its partiality or because of the nature of the product. You know, 
it requires you know, direct distribution and the valuability or the value of the product. If the product is very valuable, so it requires direct channel. If the value of the product is you know, less value, so we can distribute through different agents, wholesaler, retailer, and so on. Depending on these three things or the sophistication or the level of uh, the product's uh, usability, so we can uh, use or we can choose the appropriate channel. So these three factors is important to select the appropriate channel, either direct or indirect. And the other external factor is environmental factors or forces. Those forces that affect the business like competition, technology, culture. You may remember there are different environmental factors, environmental factors or external factors. So like competition, technology, social, cultural, the economic nature, there are different factors. I hope we have been discussed so far, I think in chapter two or one. So depending on this economic factor of competition, so we can use direct or indirect. If the competition is very stiff or strong, we can use agent. We can use agent instead of retailer. So if the competition is very smooth, which means a kind of monopolistic competition, monopoly. So they can use either wholesaler or retailer since there is no other competitors. So depending on the nature of the competition, depending on the nature of the technology, so we can use direct or indirect. So this is some of the factors that we have to consider in marketing strategy. Selling is one function of the marketing function or selling is a part of marketing the process. And customer service, uh, we have to understand customer service. Customer service after delivering the product. The product requires a certain service. So we have to provide customer service after selling the product. So depending on the nature of the product, we may provide customer service. First we have to sell the product and then we have to provide customer service. If you purchase machineries, that machinery may be requires special training. Once the company sells that machinery, so they have to provide after sales service. That company, you know, require or need to provide training how to operate the machine. So in this case, uh, many employees have unclear understanding of what customer service really. Customer service is a service provided after selling the product. But people sometimes are unable to understand uh, what's customer service really. So in this case, uh, we have to understand what's customer service mean and what's selling mean. Selling is simply delivering the product to the customer in exchange of some certain value. So customer service, what happened between you know, the customer determining his or her need and receiving the desired benefits. Actually, when we provide a product for customers, so first we have to provide the actual product. Actual product, the physical product and the core product, which is the benefit of the product. Why you are purchasing pen? To just write something. Writing something is the core benefit of the product. And having the product 
to show some emotional expression, to show some uh, you know, intellectual uh, intellectuality. So you may uh, hold that pro I mean that product. So in this case, in you know selling the product, there are three things. One, the core product. The core product is the benefit of the product while we are purchasing the product. The other is the actual product. The actual product is you not know, the physical of the product. You can take over the product, the physical appearance of the product. And the other is after sales service, after sales, which is known as augmented product. Augmented. Augmented is receiving some benefit after acquiring the product. Okay, uh, I received the question. So when we purchase the product, we actually purchase two types of uh, products. One, the core product, which means the benefit of the product. We expect something from the product. So the expectation of that product or the benefit of that product is known as core product. The actual product, the physical product. When you purchase pen, so the benefit of pen is the core product and the physical appearance or the physical product is the pen, which is the actual product. And the other is after service product, after service, which is known as augmented product, a benefit received after you know, buying the product, after buying the product. So in this case, the third types of product is augmented. Uh, okay, augmented, let me show you a new share with the new share. So augmented means, you know, a, a service after purchasing the product. Service get after purchasing the product. So you may risk some warranty after purchasing the product, or sometimes you may provide with some training after purchasing the product, how to operate the product. That benefit is known as augmented products. So we'll discuss later. So what's product in your understanding? I mean service, what's service? What's service? Since we have been discussing on customer service, customer service is a service received after purchasing a product. So what makes service different from goods or tangible part of a product? Service is also a product. Service is the intangible part of the product. Goods is the tangible part of the product. Or service is any activity undertaken to fulfill a customer's need. Any activity, any activity. Or simply service is any act or performance that one party can offer to another. Sometimes I'm just giving some act act of teaching for certain uh, customers or my students. So service is any activity to f or undertaken to fulfill the customer's need. So in this case, service is intangible. So it does not result in the ownership of anything because it is not tangible. Uh, you cannot you know, inventorize the service. You can't. You cannot inventorize it since it is intangible. So service requires 
you know, the presence of customers. Without customer, it's difficult to, you know, render a service. So production and the consumption of service is simultaneous. Simultaneous. We need customer to render a service. So production and the consumption is simultaneous in service. So that's why it's difficult to inventorize. So you cannot inventorize the service. So service has a distinct feature which is a particular feature. So service is intangible. Service is inseparable. Service is viability, or it has you know, perishability as compared to these goods. So this is the three, I mean the four distinct features of service as compared with goods. Goods are tangible, service is intangible. Goods can be separate. Production and consumption could be separate in goods since we can inventorize in warehouse. But it's difficult to separate production and consumption in separability. Variability, which means service requires a variable input. So that's why service is high variable, variable or low uniform in terms of input. Whereas in goods, low variability, which means there is high uniformity in goods inputs. Perishability, so you cannot I know, inventorize the for long period since it is perishable. So in this case, this is some of the peculiar or distinct features of service that makes it different from goods. But in real world, there is no pure service, there is no pure goods. There is no. There is some you know, tangible part within the service. You know, in our uh, discussion, there are pure goods, related pure, like consultancy, consultancy on law, legal service. So within legal service, there is some tangible goods, which is known as rapport. Or within management consultancy, so you may receive you know, some activities or performance or actors. You may consider this a service, but within the consultancy, there is some tangible product, which is a proposal. Medical service is a service, but still within a medical service, there is some tangible products. That tangible product or within the consultancy, there will be a prescription. That prescription is tangible. So, in real world, there's no pure product. I mean, in goods, there is no pure service, but there is a mix. But we can conclude that uh, service producers are you know, producing 95 or 99% of service, but 5 or 10% of goods. So in this case, we can identify what's goods or what's service. Can you mention some um, service provider organizations? Can you tell me two or three service providing organizations in our country? To mention a few, to remember. Ethio Telecom? Ethio Telecom, okay. Lela? Ethiopia Madam Drigit. Ethiopia Madam Drigit. Service Alamu. Lela? Right. Right, Service Alamu. 
What about nationalization calling? Okay, to mention few hospitals, higher education, education and institution like National Aviation College, hospital, banks, there are service providing organizations. But within this service providing organization, still there is use in banks. So there is an activity. So you may receive finally uh, some amount of cash. Within hospitals, so there might be some education. In higher education, so the majority of service in Panjab, teaching the learning process is in Panjab. Within this teaching the learning process, you will receive some amount, I mean some materials, handouts. So in this case, service is any any activity undertaken to fulfill the customer's need. So this is some of the characteristics. So you can read further on different courses about the uh, characteristics of service. What makes service different from you know, goods? So in terms of uh, measurability, so you can't measure service objectively, objectively. It's difficult to measure the quality of service since you know service is you know uh, intangible. It is subjective. Subjective. So next time we will discuss the, the concept of customer. Who is customer? So how can we classify the customers? There are current customers or future customer or prospectors. So customers in terms of uh, product, so we can classify consumer, customer, and Industrial customer based on the type of product they are using. So in this case, customer is it could be a person or it could be an organization that buys a product or a service either for personal consumption or for reselling the purpose. ለዩነት መፍጠር አላማችን ነው ዓለም አቀፍ ተወዳዳሪ መሆን አለባችሁ የnational airways እድ ኩባንያ national aviation college ጥራትና ደረጃውን የተጠበቀ ስልጠና በመስጠት ብቁ ዜጋ ያፈራ ነው በflight operation በበረራ መስተንግዶ በቲኬቲንግና reservation በሆቴልና ቱሪዝም ሙያዎች አሰልጥነን ተወዳዳሪና አድርጎታለን ኮሌጃችን ካናዳ ከሚገኘው international air transport association አያታና ከእንግሊዙ icm ጋር በመተባበር ዓለም አቀፍ ቁና ያለው ስልጠና እየሰጠ ይገኛል the flight operation በበረራ መስተንግዶ የምንሰጣቸው ስልጣና ከኢትዮጵያ ሲቪል አቪዬሽን ባለስልጣን ሙሉ ቅና አለው አድራሻ ከጎላጉል ታወር 22 አደባባይ ወደ ሾላ በሚወስደው መንገድ ላይ የnational airways ኤድ ኩባንያ national aviation college ህልሞን እሁን ያደርጋል